welcome back to my channel. Today what I'm going to be sharing with you is this Paul Rubens paint set, watercolor paint set, that I ordered off of Amazon. I ended up having a $25 gift card that I got from my aunt for either Christmas or my birthday, I forget which. But anyway, I thought we would go ahead and unbox these together and I would talk a little bit about them. So let's get started. thing I can say right off the bat is these come in a nice little sturdy little cardboard box and just as I had seen in the advertisement it comes with a little pink chamois cloth with the logo on it and here's the little enamel case or metal Of course, you know, I had to try it because it's pink, right? <laughs> Alright, so there's that. Let's move this stuff aside. So here's the little um, wells where you can mix paint colors. And this little flip side. Here they are. I got the uh, 24 color set because it was just too inexpensive to pass up. So they give you a little um, watercolor card here where you can swatch out each of the, um, the colors. And I'll probably go ahead and do that in this one. Of course the rest of it's all in um, Chinese because this is a Chinese brand. And they give you a little um, color chart in here and there's some verbiage that I can't read <laughs> maybe if it was in Japanese oh some of these colors look really nice so here we are I guess it's time to start unwrapping the uh, the half pans oh yeah that's right these are all um, half pans and they come right out of the case so if you want to mix paints in the bottom of the case you can so let's start unwrapping these and I'm probably just gonna fast forward through part of it getting started with the swatching. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up as well, but I just wanted to mention that I um, wrote in a pink Copic marker the English names of all of the colors there, just so it would be easier for me to recognize and remember which colors are which if I ever need to reorder anything. swatched and dried for the most part I think and I'm ready to discuss my thoughts on the paint and I have my handy little uh, Holbein swatch set here both of these paints Holbein and Paul Rubens here are marketed as artist quality paints and Holbein definitely is I love my Holbeins 
Um, but I wanted to use a couple comparisons in here with the uh, Paul Rubens because I do still have some favorites in the Holbeins. So let's get talking first about uh, some of these colors. So here we have lemon yellow, um, permanent ye lemon yellow, uh, cadmium yellow medium, Indian yellow, um, cadmium red light, scarlet matter red. There is a, uh, I got a rose matter with, um, with Holbein. They're not the same color, mind you, but they are pretty similar. Uh, matter red is obviously a little more red, and rose matter is a little more rose. <laughs> anyway, moving on. I don't have any violets to compare anything with because I didn't receive any violets with this set. That being said, I am pretty fond of permanent violet here, and I'll probably uh, be using that in the future. I, I'm not a real fan of these uh, deep magenta-y purple violet things. Yeah. <laughs> um, cobalt blue. I'm actually surprised that this set gives you an actual cobalt blue because in the uh, Holbein set you only get a cobalt blue hue, which um, which means it's not exactly the pure color. So you can kind of see the difference here that this is just um, more rich because it's actually the pure pigment, whereas the hue has some other things in it. Um, that being said, I do like the cobalt blue hue from from Holbein, but this cobalt blue is pretty impressive, especially for this paint set, which only costs $38. On this swatch card, I made a mistake, and I accidentally painted um, French Ultramarine twice. So this down here that's supposed to be sea, sea blue is actually sky blue, and um, this is supposed to be sea blue, and this is Prussian blue, and this is Payne's Gray. Now, Holbein does have Prussian blue in, in their little 12 spot set. Um, this probably isn't the best Prussian blue swatch, but ultimately, I prefer Holbein's Prussian Blue. I just think Holbein's Prussian Blue is so beautiful. And this one was a bit underwhelming. Granted, this swatch isn't the best swatch, so I'll try to swatch it out again and see if I can get anything different from it. But I just feel that Holbein's Prussian Blue was just really smooth, went on super easy, and I just, I really love the color variations in it. That being said, I think uh, uh, Paul Rubin's uh, Sea Blue here, this is really gorgeous. I, I love this. And I think this could be a new favorite blue. Though I still do love my Prussian blue. Anyway, um, Payne's Gray here. Well, as you can see, it's kind of more um, navy. And, uh, I do prefer a slightly more blue Payne's Gray, but this one is probably a bit too blue. Next up we have Yellow Green, Tea Green, Hooker's Green, and Emerald Green Deep. Um, my Holbein set came with Ver a Viridian Hue and Permanent Green number one. The, honestly, between all of these, this is a nice spread of greens to have. Um, I'm not fond of Hooker's Green. <laughs> Sorry if you like it, I do not. Um, I can see myself using Yellow Green and Tea Green, but I'm not really fond of this Emerald Green Deep, but that's probably just my preference because I think it's a good paint. Um, I'd probably do something with the Viridian and add a little bit of blue if I wanted to go uh, a deeper, a deeper green. Um, yellow ochre. Now, Holbein also has a yellow ochre. You can't see too much from this set, but I've painted a lot with yellow ochre from Holbein. I just feel that Holbein's yellow ochre is just this lovely, creamy yellow color that is such a good base for, gosh, skin, hair, blonde hair. It's just like, dare I say, it's like a delicious color. It's like... 
like the golden yellow brown of a freshly baked loaf of bread kind of thing and I just love it so much. The yellow ochre in the Paul Rubens set I found was, whereas I still like it, it's very pretty, but it's slightly more orangey rather than yellow, like it's got more of a peachy angle to it, and I just, I really really like Holbein's warm yellowy, <laughs> creamy <laughs> yellow ochre, so I can see where there could be applications for both of these. Um, but I prefer Holbein's in this case. Now, I feel like the browns here are kind of where this little um, Paul Rubin set fails. I've never had a Pazuli Red Ogre before, but I'm not impressed with it. It's really weak. It, you can't get coverage with the, the thickest paint. And um, this kind of the same way goes with the umber. That said, I, I don't have any experience with Pazuli Red, so I don't know if it is just supposed to be like a, a very light color. <coughs> um, in general, I prefer Holbein's browns. I just feel that they're creamier and they have a greater range of color. Um, I love this Burnt Sienna from Holbein, and the Burnt Umber is nice too. Probably Burnt Sienna despite the fact that this is called burned sienna. Probably this burnt sienna, well actually I'm pretty sure it's an umber, or it's close to an umber. Anyway, I will use Holbein's burnt sienna rather than this umber. Um, if you like granulation, these two have granulation in them. There's uh, in the Pazuli red and the umber. There is a little bit of granulation in the burnt umber, or the burnt sienna here, but my preference is no granulation, and I really, really like Holbein's browns. I, I was really disappointed when I started doing the browns in this set. That said, I don't use browns a lot, so it's not a deal breaker for me. The other disappointing thing was this set came with a coal black. I find water, um, black to be pretty completely useless in watercolor. So. All in all, I was really impressed with this set because it's only about $38 on Amazon. You get this wonderful case. I really love this case. We're even just through swatching, I, I found using this case to be super enjoyable. I mean, not only is it this lovely pastel pink color and it's got the little Paul Rubens logo in the corner, but um. I mean, you all saw me painting here and putting pigments down here, so it cleans up really well. And this is the kind of palette that I have been looking for, something where the white of the palette would clean up so there wouldn't be any tints left over. I had a pure white palette every time. Um, for the most part, it seems like the paints aren't really staining here. I was able to clean up everything pretty well. That said, um, the greens over here, the, uh, the tree green, the yellow green, uh, maybe a little bit of the hooker's green, kinda seemed to leave a little bit of a stain over here, but I used some isopropyl alcohol on a little cotton swab, and it cleaned right up. So, really, this case, I mean, <laughs> is pretty amazing. And I really, I, I did really enjoy working with these. They seemed to wet really well, except a few of the blues I felt got a little tacky and I had to add more water. But overall, I think it, for $38, this is a really good set. Um, is it, you know, the same as artist grade stuff? Um, Maybe not completely, but again, it's like $38. <laughs> you can't go wrong for a nice little set to take with you, um, to travel with, so you don't feel like, you know, you might, <laughs> if you lose it, you're out like hundreds of dollars. So there's that, but overall, I'm gonna say that I was definitely impressed. 
And that's it for this video. It went a little bit long. Hopefully you still enjoyed it and hopefully you found it a little informative or helpful. As always, if you like my videos, please subscribe and like them and all that jazz. And also, I'm really trying to work on getting my Instagram following up. So if you want to follow me on Instagram too, that would be great. And don't forget to check out my webcomic and all that jazz. So have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.